All right. Hello. Hello, everyone. Happy Monday. Hope you're doing good. sure I got this over here. Hi, Nicolette. Good morning. Hi, lovely. I need to like adjust that camera up a little bit. I'm going to slouch so that I can fit in camera. <laughs> Yay, Ashley. Yay. Yes. You know, this one's gonna be great because we're not going crazy today. I wanna keep this stream much more chill and accessible than normal because I just did a lot of driving and um, honestly, I did not get good sleep. My uh, equilibrium always gets really thrown off when I'm trying to travel, so yeah. <laughs> So today's going to be much more stretchy than anything else. Oh, Pi, Nicolette says, good morning. Pi says, good morning. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, everyone. Welcome. Yay. Ah. Oh. Yeah, more stretchy. Yay resounding uh, agreement with making this much more stretchy. <laughs> your girl is struggling today and I need, uh, I need the stretchy. <laughs> yeah, I think it would be really good to um, just do a little bit of everything. I know this month has been backbend themed, so I'm not gonna like force myself to hold to that theme staunchly. Um, we're just gonna do a little bit of everything and maybe there will be some things um, that ask for some backbending that you have the option to do. But I think we're gonna use a lot of props um, in order to pull this off. Also, I need to show you guys my pants, okay? We're going to the main scene so that you can see Pi and my pants. Let's go. <laughs> There's Pi. And, um, excuse me. Do you see this? This waistband, like what? And front pockets, fronty pockets, yes. So in person, Ashley, they look much more pink, which I was worried about, but they come off very purpley pink, which is why I am so on board. Yes, these are Melodia and I'm, I'm obsessed. She sent me this big care package and I'm just like, what I love. <laughs> I know. Oh, thank you, Stephanie, so much. Hi, Sharon. Hello. <laughs> oh. Yeah, she's so great. Um, I'm going to... I think I have to do it like this. I'm gonna put it in the chat. Um, but if you ever wanna get some clothies, I've got a little discount code. Yeah. And I think these might be on sale and she's so great because she always lets me like combine sale things. So if things are on sale, you can get additional off with the, with my code. I'm pretty sure. Cause she's fucking awesome. 
yeah, no, I love these front pockets. Well, they're kind of like front and side. This is where they stop, right back here, and they're big. Like so big, like you could put your whole cell phone in them. Bam. What phone? I don't know. It's gone. It's hidden. <laughs> hey, Miss Shayla. Yeah, I hear you, Ashley. Um, luckily, um, these, so these are small. They feel really comfortable. Um, I have a smaller waist. So if I didn't have a smaller waist, I might have sized up for these so that they give me a little extra cushion. But these are, to me, more like stretchy and spacious than her motos. So, yeah, I don't know. Ashley, maybe we'll talk after. Maybe I'll send you a little Prezi. <laughs> All right. Let's talk about um, what we're gonna do in class today because I could literally just talk to all of you like literally forever. <laughs> Ooh, girl, <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, so welcome, welcome, welcome. I know I've just got some people kind of hopping on right now and we're in here just talking about pants. But um, the class that we're gonna do today is gonna be less power. Um, there might be like a handful of things that are somewhat strength oriented. Maybe there will be a plank or two, but in general, we're gonna keep things very stretchy today. I would like to do a little bit of everything, legs, shoulders. Um, so I think it would be a good idea to have a strap um, and or a long resistance band if you don't have that. I kind of have to dig mine out of the closet, so. Hold that thought while I snatch it up. Cause, oof. Yes. Huh, Pie, we're gonna get stretchy today. I'd like to do some like shoulder flossing and stuff. And I think using a resistance band um, for shoulder flossing is so nice because it's just, it gives you some give. So when we're, oh fuck, that felt so good. <laughs> so when you're going up and around because my shoulders are just, they're tight. That's just what they are. They're just tight. It gives me just a little extra space so that I'm not doing anything sketchy in there. So we'll have all the straps. Obviously I've got all of the blocks and things. And we might just use the blocks to start. Yeah, yeah, all right. Let's do the thing, shall we? Sorry if you hear all the like tree work and shit going on. There's this place across the street that's pulling down some trees. So apologies, we're gonna stretch to the tune, the relaxing tune of chainsaws. Nothing's more on brand that I can think of, yeah. Love it. And if there's something that you want to listen to music wise, vibe to, I am in full support of that. I say we start with some laying down chest openers, which you can do with or without blocks. And I want you to keep your strappy stuff close by because I want you to be able to access it easily from your back. So I like to pop it like just off to the side here. Huh, can I get on my mat? Oh, your boo-boos look so much better. I don't know if you guys remember last week, but Pi had these like scabbies on her and she's all healed up now. Yeah, I'm just gonna scoot you barely off the mat, baby. All right, so options, you can just start on your back flat if you don't have blocks, or you can start in a version of a heart opener, which I like to call the block heart opener. So one of these blocks is gonna go under your mid back area. It can go up and down your spine or across. And then the second block is gonna go underneath your head. Can I sit here? Oh, thank you. I'm just gonna be all up in your shit. So again, either up and down, 
across under your head. And anytime I'm doing this um, heart opener, my combination of blocks can be vastly different. So sometimes it feels like I want a little more intensity. I bump those blocks up a level or I'm just not really feeling it and I need to keep things at a lower level, right? Yeah, like this one's pretty high, but honestly, it feels really good. I just want to get a little lift into my mid to upper back. Now, once you get nice and settled, I want you to find a shape with the lower body. You can let the legs just kind of hang out where they're at. You can bring it into a hip opener. Maybe you want to close the hips or just keep them bent. Arms out by your side. And we're gonna take a few rounds of breath here. <laughs> Great. since we're going to do so much grounded stuff. Now, because you're in this heart opening position, I want you to really take advantage of how much oxygen you can bring into your lungs in this moment. Maybe you want to take some nice breaths in through your nose, out of the nose. Or if you need a more intense release, going in through the nose and then out of your mouth releases. Out of your mouth releases can also look like, hmm, ha, ah, anything that's going to give you just something a little more open in that way. We'll do a total of three more just like that. Pai has again commandeered my spot like the big baby that she is. Plop. <laughs> I love you. Great, we'll spend one last breath here. And then we're going to remove our block prop. So I like to just roll off to one side, snatch them out, push them away, and then we're gonna come straight back onto our backs again. And we're gonna take this into our mid spine and our legs. So once you're flat, bring your legs just like mine, bent position, feet on the floor, and I want you to walk them out wider than your hip width distance. Everybody's hip width distance is going to be different because of your anatomy. So you can literally look down at your lower body and I want you to be able to see your heels on the outsides of your hips. Now from there, let's go into our windshield wipers. So Rock your knees side to side, lifting up one hip and then the other. And let's talk about some just extra credit things you can do here. As you take them off to one side, one thing I like to do is push my hips forward so I get a little space into the front of my hip flexors. Sometimes, like today, I'm feeling that stretch all the way down from my quads and into my knees. Other things you can do is just hold your twist. You can hold that twist, pick up a foot, place it on the outside, give you a little low back relief. Something worth mentioning is that if you're trying these things and I'm kind of shouting out a spot that you might feel the stretch in, if you feel it in other places, that doesn't mean you're doing it wrong. That just means that you're feeling it somewhere else based on your own body stories, your own injuries that you've experienced, your level of mobility, okay? All right, I'm gonna take this little twist thing to the other side, and then we're all gonna meet back together and do some leg work with a strap. Oof, my 
hips. I don't know what it is about driving long distances and sitting, but it always wrecks me so much. So worth it though, because driving to Atlanta and doing stuff in Atlanta was amazing. If you haven't been there, can't recommend enough. My husband said it reminded him a lot of Houston, where he's from. And it was just an awesome city. Everything there was amazing. Okay. Let's take ourselves back to center from whatever you're doing. And we're gonna start to use our straps. You can also use your long resistance band if that works better, but I'm just going to use a fabric strap. So we'll step our left foot into the strap. We'll lengthen that leg up towards the sky. I'm gonna flex my foot for this first little moment, but you can start to go through some points and flexes here if you like. Now, something I want you to try just to set ourselves up for success is lengthen your spinal column. So you can even take a hand that's not being used and kind of fidget those little fingers underneath your waistline see if you can create some space. If you have more mass, maybe you're not able to actually do that, but just want you to feel a sense of lengthening of the spine. Now, if you're already feeling it in your hamstring, you're good, stay here. If you want some more space, start to walk your legs long. I have a, a cat in the way, so I'm gonna scoot back. <laughs> because you can go into a really big split leg position here if you like. I'm sorry, dude, you were there. All right, now we're gonna spend two more breaths here, and then we're gonna make this more of an active stretch, okay? <laughs> Y'all know the deal, she's obsessed with the yoga mats now. All right, so here from the ground, with all of this still happening, the length in the spine, we're going to micro bend your knee and something I want you to try to do is really flex your foot so that the bottom of the foot is still facing the ceiling. So if the, you bend the knee and the foot's now trying to like face the front, see if you can make that just a little smaller and really work on the flexion, not only in the knee and the ankle, but also in your hip and then lengthen the leg back out. Yeah, re-bend and extend. So we're doing a version of PNF stretching, proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation. Yeah, we're just doing a little nervous system trick here to get a little more space into these muscles and into the fascia. Great, now I'm working just from parallel here, but let's see what happens if we add a little bit of external rotation. So as you bend your knee, see about externally rotating or bringing your knee and kind of pointing it out towards this left shoulder and then re-extend the leg, take it back to neutral. Let's try four more just like that. Bend, externally rotate, and then extend and neutralize, yeah? Three more. Mm. Two. Last one, let's maintain that bend and external rotation and see how far you wanna take it. Start to think of half happy baby in a way with this leg, yeah? Now, if you feel like you're kind of falling off center, that's totally normal. It actually <laughs> takes a lot of core strength to hold yourself in this position. I know I'm talking to you from behind my leg. Here I am. So from maintaining this bend here, things that we can do as well, which feel really nice. Taking your leg into an extension. I'm gonna hold here for five breaths. If you're not into doing a leg extension, you don't have to do it. It's all good. Oof. All right, last breath here. If your leg is extended, start to bring it back into a bend. And then we'll take the leg back into neutral. 
and re-extend. Now, if your right leg is still bent to some degree, see if you can just crawl it a little bit further away from you, especially if you feel like that leg is blocking your ability to take the left leg across your midline for an IT band stretch, okay? Now, important things about this IT band stretch, I don't want you to lift your entire back off of the ground. I want you to try to keep as much of it in contact with the earth as possible. Things that help me do that is by maximizing the extension of my left leg and also placing my left thumb into this hip crease to try to anchor it a little bit to the ground, yeah? Now let's see if we can sickle your left foot. That means that I'm turning my toes down to the ground here and getting some extra stretch into the outside of my calf muscle. Try to elongate the left side of your body. That's gonna add a little spice to this shape, unfortunately. If you need it, of course, right? Because all these little bits are optional. Final breath. And then we'll take everything back to center. And we're gonna do the exact same shit on the other side. So let's step your right foot into the strap. Left foot, it's coming straight down to the ground. You don't have to extend it all the way yet because we're just doing our setup here. So low spine, think of it trying to lift ever so slightly up off of the ground. We're working our flexion in our ankle, but you can take a couple of flexion points because I did that on the beginning of the other side here, yeah? Now, once you feel like you're kind of settled into your anatomical neutral, the, the space where you're going to benefit stretching these hamstrings the most, you can intensify by walking the left foot away. Again, Pi has commandeered a lot of the mat, so I'm just gonna scoot so that I can fit myself onto it. <laughs> All right. All right, a few rounds of breath before we do our active versions of this stretch. And then we're gonna get out of the grounded leg portion of this class. Man. All right. So in order to do that bend and extend, we're sticking first with neutral. So the leg is going to stay within that neutral to dread. Wow, neutral trajectory. Try to say those two words next to each other five times fast. And then re-extend the leg, yeah? So we're trying to keep the sole of the foot facing the sky while we do a couple of these bends and extends. Bends and extends. Yay. We'll do a few more and then we'll try the external version of this, seeing if you get maybe a little more space, a little more flexion. Great. All right, let's give it a go. Now, as you start to bend, think about pointing the knee at an angle behind you, past your right shoulder and then re-extend. We'll do a few of these, and then we'll hold it and try a leg extension, which is like a version of your standing patagustasana, you could say. All right, let's keep that knee bent. See what it's like, maybe get a little extension. I'm lucky, there's a wall right here. I'm just gonna rest my foot on the wall <laughs> for a little support. I'm all about using every prop in the room, including the room itself, right? Wow, what a feeling. Last two breaths here, my darlings.
And then we'll take this bad boy back to center. Start by rebending, take it back to neutral and extend. Now, before we head into the IT band of your right leg, if your left leg is still really bent and feels like a bother and you need a little more space, see if you can walk it away a little bit. And then we'll take the right leg across your body. Yeah. Now my little tips and tricks for trying to keep as much of your low spine on the ground as possible is placing your right thumb into this hip crease, anchoring the hip, and then thinking about elongating that right side of your body. Now I'm already kind of going into my sickle foot. You can see it so much better here. I'm turning my toes down to the ground and almost like I'm extending my leg but pushing out through that outer heel area. Then we start to get into the connections on the outside of the calf and ankle. This is one of my most recommended stretches if you're doing things like running, just high impact things that force your ankle and your lower legs to absorb a lot of shock. All right, we'll do one last breath here and then we'll take you back towards center. Oh my God. We'll ditch the strap. You can toss it away and hug both of your knees in towards your chest. Take a couple of rocks. If rocking doesn't really feel good, but you just want to do something for your legs, butterfly circles is one of my favorites. Just any little wiggles that kind of take all that work and make it a little more solidified. Y'all know me, I'm all about the little improvisational moments between shapes. Now we'll all start to rock and roll here, up and down the length of your mat. You can do as many as you want. We're gonna meet in tabletop position, all fours. Nice, and we're gonna go through some shoulder chest stuff. Shoulder, chest, wrist, the whole thing, yeah? All right. So, once you're on all fours, let's go through our cat-cows. So, hands are gonna go directly underneath your shoulders. I'm coming, I promise. Just gotta re-secure this bun and smack this kitty butt. All right. Yeah, again, all fours, and then we'll work through our cat cow. So heart space reaches forward, and then do the opposite of that round, and push away from your mat, tuck your chin towards your chest. You can just add in that extra element with your neck. Wow, I'm feeling just very tight all over today. Oh. We'll keep going for about 15 seconds here. And things that I wanna offer in case you want to start to already include your wrists into this is to try your cat cow, but with your hands in full external rotation. You may have a little less range. I'm just gonna tell you when you do your cat back, it's gonna be very, very intense for the undersides of those forearms. All right, now we'll make our way back to neutral and let's stretch our forearms in the other direction. So I want you to flip just your right hand. Let's just do one at a time. Place the top of the hand on your mat. See if you can do full extension with your arm. If that's tricky or it just feels like too much weight on one hand, do yourself some favors. Walk your knees further forwards. You can even sit back on your heels and do this same stretch but modulate how much weight is going into that wrist. <laughs> I can't resist Pi. You're just there, so close. Mm, 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 mm. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes when I stretch like this on Monday and I'm like, what was I doing all weekend to make my forearms so tight? 
All right, let's do the other side. So shake out your right hand a little bit. Flip the left, that feels a lot more open. And again, just reminding you to breathe, to understand that as we do things isolated like this, it's totally normal to feel tighter on one side, more open on another. All right, last little moment here, and then we'll come back to all fours and work through our needle threads with an option to do a little bit of strength balancing, okay? Now we'll take our hands back onto the mat. If you're like me and you, you know, took some of the weight off, reassign the knees underneath your hips. And I want you to reach your right arm out to the side or up towards the ceiling. Feel free to give yourself space by bumping your hips out to the right, yeah? When my hips are in neutral, oof, makes it very difficult, but if you wanna bump out a little bit, it gives you a little more space. Open up the shoulders here a little bit by moving them up and back. Maybe it feels good to even full circle here with the shoulders. And then we'll thread our needle. So let's take the right arm underneath your chest, weave it underneath the left arm, and we'll lower your ear and your shoulder down to the ground. <laughs> now this is probably one of my favorite shapes just to get a nice gentle twist in, to get some space between my shoulders and ears. If you wanna make this a little more um, like stretchy for your left side lat and armpit. One thing I like to do is reach my left arm forwards, not onto the cat, but onto the mat, <laughs> and come up onto my fingertips. I know the cat butt is blocking your view, but I'm kind of up on my fingertips like this. Okay, I'll put the microphone right there. Now, to make things a little more balancey and challenging in a different way. Something that I wanna offer up to try today since this is technically a power class. Um, left foot, see if you can tuck this left toe and extend that left leg nice and long. Great. Now imagine what level of squareness has to happen in your hips in order to lift your left leg up off the ground. Doesn't have to be a lot. It can be a little, it can be super duper lifted. Something that's going to make it a lot easier if this left arm is extended and you feel like you're falling backwards is to place the hand back in front of your face or even off to your left hand side, full extension. Yeah. Really nice little fun shape to play with. We're gonna hang out here for three more seconds. Nice, if this leg is lifted, let's bring it back down. We'll bring the right hand back in front of our face. Push yourself back into tabletop and rock a little bit side to side to get some relief off of that shoulder, okay? Look at that, guys. We're already over halfway through class. I actually wanna keep things a little bit shorter today and not go a full hour, so. Probably got like 15 minutes left. All right, let's do the other side. So bump your hips off to the left, reach your left arm out to the side or even up. Oh wow, my whole back just popped. That felt really good. <laughs> you can move your arm up and back and down or even go into your full circles, yeah? Keep doing that. I'm just gonna read the chat. Oh, hi Tawny, if you're still here, love you. <laughs> yeah. Great. And then we'll thread our needle. So we'll take this left arm underneath us. We'll lower the shoulder. We'll lower the ear. And just copycat whatever you did on the other side, right? We don't have to go straight into that balance just yet. 
I like to do the reaching through with my um, opposite arm, come up onto those little wizard fingers. Keep trying to bump my hips towards center and focus on breathing. Now, if you did go for that balance, let's see about taking this right foot, tucking the toe, sliding the leg back, really focusing on your hip squareness and your glute strength to try to lift the right leg up. Great, now I taught you all my little tricksies. If having the arm above your head is too challenging to do this, counter your weight a little bit by reaching the right arm out towards the side. Keep working through those points. Squeeze. Last three. Last two. And one. Let's bring it back down. Push yourself back into tabletop. I'll bring my microphone with me in a second. I like to do like a little bit of side to side stuff after that for my shoulders. Great. And then we'll go into our first downward facing dog. So tuck your toes, lift your hips, take it up and back. Oh. And pedal it out. Oh, nice. My husband slid my AirPods under the door because he is an angel. Love you, Kamar. So thoughtful. All right, my loves. I'll give you three more breaths in this downward facing dog. And then we'll get into our last pieces of class. Yay. Now I can have just a, a wee bit of music. Okay. So from that downward facing dog, step your way forwards and let's roll ourselves all the way up towards standing. Great. Once you make it up to standing, roll out your shoulders once twice, thrice, keeping the shoulder blades down and away from you. Reach both arms up, open up your chest. Think about back bend in the upper body. Mm -hmm. And then forward fold, take it straight back down. Halfway lift, lengthen through your spine. And then fold back forward, let your arms hang and roll your way back up. Y'all know I love doing just in place sun A's. Lift from the chest, reach your arms up, inhale breath, and fold forwards. Halfway lift, inhale, fold back down, and roll back up. We got one more. From the upper chest, lift the arms up, fold back forwards. Halfway lift, nice long spine. And then let's fold back down. I want you to hold this fold. Think about drawing the chin in towards your chest. Even if you can look up at yourself, you know what I'm looking at. <laughs> so it becomes more like a curling action into your spine. Great, now let's release that feeling of curl. Hopefully you have either your strap or your resistance band nearby, and then we'll bring it with us as we make our way all the way up to standing. Great. I'm gonna lift up this camera angle a little bit. We're gonna work through your shoulders and do something like a little tag team with your hip flexors, okay? So I want you to step your right foot back. You've got your stretchy little strappies in your hand and see if you can come onto the top of your foot without giving yourself a cramp. If it gives you a cramp, 
roll back forwards onto the toes. But here I want you to lengthen the tailbone down and squeeze the heck out of these buns while we shoulder floss. So lift, try to work it back behind you. I'm getting a cramp. And forwards. <laughs> Let me try again. <laughs> Oof. Oh my God. All right, one more. And then we'll switch feet and we'll just do one more round of that floss. So left leg extends back. Again, we're just trying to go for length, pressing through those toes. Oh, the tops of my feet and ankles are so incredibly tight today. Last round of our shoulder floss. Up and back, up and back. I'm probably breathing so intensely into the microphone. Sorry. All right. Last one for me. I'm going to ditch this strap. And then I'm just going to step open into a wide legged position. We're not going for like super duper wide, just wide enough for you to get your knees bent down into a deep horse stance. And we'll do some twists from here. So I want you to dip your left shoulder down, look over towards the right. Take it back through center, same thing other side. Dip right shoulder, look left. Nice job, back to center, just a little bit of a wake up call for your legs and butt, okay? We're gonna do 20 of these down and up, just a couple of inches, right? This is gonna be the moment where I tell you that Goth Bar is coming back in September, just in time for fall equinox. I don't know what it is. I don't like doing bar in the summer. To me, it is a ritual intended for the fall and winter. <laughs> so because I haven't taught bar in a long time, I haven't done this exact move in a while. <laughs> All right, last five, last four, three, two, and one. Come all the way up to standing. Turn your feet to parallel, meaning the toes are pointing straight forward in front of you. And we're gonna go down into a forward fold. Now you can fold just taking your hands down to the ground. If you want an extra shoulder opener, chest expansion, hands come behind you, lengthen and work. Now when I'm doing this, I like to move around a lot. Feel free to do the same. Feel free to try things, let go of things. Remember earlier when we were doing that fold and we were really working on curling and looking up? The same thing can happen here in this fold too, yeah? Nice work, everyone. All right, now from that fold, let's bring you guys back up. Mm -hmm. And you can do this just from here, heel toeing the feet into just outside of your hip width distance, or you can step towards the front, but let's get down into your hips and then down to the ground for our final pieces of class. So we're going for malasana, because I always like making people do malasana. Huh, Pai, we like malasana. 
And because we're going to work on some final backbends to end class, um, I want to give you a couple of options of something you can do from here. So, kind of challenging. Actually, let me be real on that. It is very challenging to do this little move here. From your Molasana, one hand comes back and you push and lift your hips. Yeah? Almost like you're in like a flip dog situation. But I'm a pretty bendy babe and this one is hard for me to do. So you can do it or not do it. Up to you. I'm gonna do a total of three on each side. I just always feel like a little struggling to walk baby bird. Oof. Maybe struggling to fly. Maybe that's a better analogy. All right, and then once you make your way all the way back or if you're just hanging out in that Molasana, let's bring our butts back down to the ground and we'll go through our final piece of class. Starting with bridge, bridge rolls, and possibly wheel, okay? So let's take you down onto your back again, similar to how we started. And let's go for a bridge. Lift up your hips. If you know bridge is gonna be your max for today, I love that for you. Take a block under your butt if you need it. Maybe you wanna rock it up and just take a super restorative bridge today. Like I said, I love that for you. <laughs> okay. If you're doing more of an active bridge situation today, stay with me. Last three, two, and we'll bring those hips back down. Bridge rolls, okay? Left arm comes by your side body. Do the same thing where you lift your hips, but start to lift and roll onto your shoulder. Very similar to what we were kind of doing when we were doing our thread the needles, right? Big push, and we won't spend a long time there. Bring it back down to the ground. Same thing on the other side, right arm reaches up. Great, start to do your lift. Or no, sorry, right arm down, left arm reaches up. <laughs> I was like, this doesn't feel right. Roll onto your shoulders and reach that left arm up and back. Nice job, bring it back down. And you can do one more bridge. Or you can take that bridge into a wheel position. So, hips lift. Sorry, Pi, you're kind of in my way, dude. Lift, hands come right above your shoulders. And then you can just push up onto the crown of the head or push all the way along through the arms, yeah? Now. Things that you can do within your wheel to make things more fun. Rocks. You can also come up onto your toes. Walk your hands forward. I'm not really like super warmed up through my back or anything right now, but that's fun to do. You can also walk the feet away. I'm like afraid there's a cat down here. Sorry, baby. Push through the arms, push through the legs. So you're going more for a ramp. All sorts of things to do. So do whatever you like. This is the last rough and tumble thing I'm making you do today. And then we'll bring you back down to the ground. Nice job. And do whatever you like that counters back bends. Really gently hugging your knees in towards your chest, rocking side to side, taking twists. Any of those things are great. 
If you're somebody that likes to like fully and completely counter back bends, <laughs> I was gonna go there, Pi. We'll see how this goes. Then I was going to suggest <laughs> doing your legs up the wall and or going into plow. So lifting up through your hips, taking it up and back, let's see. I can do it with a cat between my legs. Do you guys see this? You see this creature back here? All right, whatever your counters were, let's bring you back down to the ground. Oh, I'm shaking. <sighs> and I just want you to make your way onto your back and spend 60 seconds here, breathing, connecting, expressing a hell of a lot of gratitude for yourself and where you are today. I know life can get really intense, really scary, really overwhelming. But what I do know is that as long as I can keep expressing gratitude for me where I'm at taking care of myself, like taking a practice like this. Hmm. There is a lot to live for. We'll take eight more breaths here, my darlings. All right, one last breath. Hmm. And then I'll have you push your way off to one side, up to a seat. Ooh. Or maybe you just wanna go hang out with your kitties and doggies. You guys, Great job. That's, that's it. We did it. That's as much power as I wanted to do today. <laughs> huh, Pi? That's all we need, right? Just a little bit. <sighs> so much better. job you guys I need water I need water oh my god Stephanie pies a vibe every day look at her look at this what is this what is that Oh, 
Ashley, you're so welcome. Shayla, yes. Thank you. <laughs> I felt like we were break dancing. Loved it. I love that, Jessica. <laughs> yeah, we all took a page out of Pi's book today, didn't we? <laughs> Yeah, no. Pi has life figured out. She knows what to do. Sometimes you just gotta lay back and enjoy the fan on you. <laughs> oh. So good. Well, um, we will be having uh our beginners class this Thursday, and then a quick and dirty on Friday. So we will have some more classes this week. Oh, Jelena, you're so welcome. <laughs> Sharon, I'm always here to give you a big hug. Always, always, and forever. And Ashley, if you're still in here, I want to send you a little message, give you a little treato. Ooh, me too, Nicolette. I missed you guys last week a lot. Like, I love traveling, but also I'm like, I miss everybody. <laughs> I want to see my friends. So, yeah, it'll be good to be back. <laughs> I'll be watching. <laughs> yeah, go play with your balls, Nicolette. Oh, I love to hear that, Jessica. Chest expandies. It's really nice, huh? We spend so much of our day in shapes that collapse us that it's really important to counter that and do some expandies. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, it is important that I go feed myself right now. It is time, because I've got lots of private clients to see today. So I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your Monday. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, we'll be back next week. Same time, same channel, and a new theme. So if you guys have something you'd like to work on next month, and if it's on the top of your little dome right now, you can throw it in the chat. Um, or you can also message me. Um, I did want to bring back a rocket series, but I don't think I'm going to do that until next month. So um, I'll be working on our September theming this week and get out our schedule to everybody on Patreon. so crazy that there was a tree there before class and now it's gone. Crazy. Wild. All right, my darlings. I love you so much. I'll see you again next week, okay? <laughs> Yay. See you Friday, Jessica. Sounds good to me.